149. When the Lord himself wants to be close to his soul and to lead it, he will remove everything that is external. When I fell ill and was taken to the infirmary, I suffered much unpleasantness because of this. There were two of us sick in the infirmary. Sisters would come to see Sister N, but no one came to visit me. It's true that that was only one infirmary, but each one had her own cell. The winter nights were long, and Sister N had the light and the radio held headphones, while I could not even prepare my meditation for lack of light. When nearly two weeks had passed in this way, I complained to the Lord one evening that I was suffering so much, and I could not even prepare my meditation because there was no light. And the Lord said that he would come every evening and give me the points for the next day's meditation. These points always concerned his sorrowful passion. He would say, consider my sufferings before Pilate. And thus, point by point, I meditated upon his sorrowful passion for one week. From that moment, a great joy entered my soul, and I no longer wanted either the visitors or the light. Jesus sufficed me for everything. The superiors were indeed very solicitous for the sick, but the Lord ordained that I should feel forsaken. This best of masters withdraws every created thing in order that he himself might act. Many a time I have experienced such sufferings and persecutions that Mother M herself said to me, Sister, along your path sufferings just spring up out of the ground. I look upon you, sister, as one crucified, but I can see that Jesus has a hand in this. Be faithful to the Lord.